How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can basically use NordVPN. So NordVPN is obviously a very easy to use VPN and the user interface is actually quite straightforward. But if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full review down below. I'm just going to get to how you can use the VPN and what the basic features are for. Okay, so as you can tell, as soon as you download the VPN. This is the user interface. I've got a very uh, intuitive map design. You know, you can just zoom into the map and, you know, what you basically do is just, let's say you want to unblock the US Netflix library, zoom into the United States and click on one of the servers. And the moment you click, you'll be connected to the VPN. It is as simple as that. Now, when you connect to the VPN, you have these options right here. You can pause the connection and you have the refresh button right here, which will connect you to another server. So as you can tell here, 6944, this is the number of server that we're using. If you refresh, it will connect you to another server. And this can be useful in cases where, let's say you connect to a specific server and maybe the Netflix library is still not available to you. If you're outside the States, obviously you want to connect to a state server to unblock uh, the Netflix library or Hulu. But if it doesn't get unblocked, then it's just probably the server that you're using at the moment, um, which isn't working or it maybe got blocked by Netflix or Hulu. So what you can do is just refresh and you can find another server within the same state. And besides that, you can simply pause the connection if that's something you want to do. You can hit quick connect and it will connect you to the nearest server. And that's pretty much it with regards to using the VPN here. NordVPN is a very easy VPN to use. And another thing you can do if you don't want to use the map, of course, you have your recents here, but you can just go down the list and look for servers. You have over five. 5,500 servers in 59 countries. And again, you can select the states from here, for example, or, you know, you can just go to any other country and select from the locations. Okay, so besides that, maybe you want to understand a little bit more about the features. So, of course, the features that we have here, this is the latest version of NordVPN, so it's fully updated. And you have threat protection, which is pretty much a mini antivirus that blocks ads. You have MeshNet, which is probably something you're not going to use unless you're interested in uh, encrypted remote access. If you want to uh, get access to other devices or have other people get remote access to your device or vice versa you can do that via the encrypted connection of MeshNet. You can also safely file share over the encrypted connection. And you have Dark Web Monitor, which will keep an eye out on any leaked information linked to your email address, passwords, contacts, or other personal details. It's just a nice security feature. And if we go down to the settings, you have your general stuff right here, you know, light mode, dark mode, and some launching options that you can set according to your preferences. In connections, you have a few protocols, including the NordLynx protocol, which will be the best protocol. You want to use this all the time. Some auto connect features. You can set trusted networks right here and you have custom DNS for an easy way to change your DNS. You can set the quick connect feature to turn on as soon as you turn on the VPN. You have the option to turn on remote access when you're connected by the VPN. If you go down here, you have the kill switch, but also the app kill switch. Now the kill switch is definitely going to be useful, especially if you're in a restrictive country and you don't want your um, ISP or anyone else to ever find out what you're doing online. So what this will do is that it'll kill your internet connection when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. And what the kill switch does, it will just end the task of the application and close it completely if the VPN disconnects or when you disconnect it. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. Um, so you can have only, let's say, your torrenting client use the VPN or disable the use of VPN for this application while the rest of your connection is using the VPN. It's a pretty useful feature. And that's pretty much it with regards to NordVPN. You'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. And it's overall one of the most well-rounded VPNs out there. Of course, if I haven't mentioned, you have five types of specialty servers. But for the sake of time, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in learning more about this VPN, you'll find the full review down below. And if you'd like to take advantage of the 
discounts, you'll find a special discount in the description down below. Now, all you need to do is just connect to a VPN server, and that's pretty much it. Of course, NordVPN is covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So let's say you want to go back on your decision after the purchase, you have 30 days to do so. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.